Today we're going to visit with Fishery Supervisor Jerry Weigel about information and tools available on the Game of Fish website for anglers. I'm Mike Anderson with the North Dakota Game and Fish Department. Jerry, where can an angler go on the Game of Fish website to find all these tools and information? Uh, just a simple Google search or our uh, address is pretty simple, gf.nd.gov and uh, from there look for the fisheries tab and you'll uh, have a wealth of information waiting for you. Jerry, what are some important resources under that fisheries tab that would help anglers out? Probably one of the most important thing with all the new lakes we have uh, around the state is uh, information on where to find them, the driving directions, uh, where they are, what county. Uh, we also have information by species if you're looking to go after perch or pike or walleye. We have uh, lists just for those type of lakes and uh, would we'll, we'll definitely help you out. That'd be the main thing. And from there, I would suggest folks, once they're zeroing in on some lakes, to take a look at the status of the fishery. Our biologists try to write a nice summary uh, from survey data on what they feel an angler can expect to find once they get to these lakes. And uh, it really is probably the best uh, uh, information for uh, folks to use. Jerry, if you're new to fishing, what type of resources under the Game and Fish Fisheries tab on our website would help you out? Well, of course, we have our fish stocking data. There's a fish fishery survey data of all the netting we do. I do want to caution folks uh, on the stocking data. The majority of fish we stock are young juvenile fish that are several years from being able to be caught of the size. So it's, it's better to go after the status of the fishery where the managers have tried to summarize what you can expect to catch. But if you do want to look at uh, netting data, there's uh, tables and charts for you to look at. Okay, the Game and Fish manages over 400 lakes around the state, Jerry. But we also have, for a new angler, we also have community ponds. Absolutely, uh, at a lot, you know, most of our major cities, we have some community fisheries. Um, and I would say in addition to that, all these new lakes around the state, many of them don't have boat ramps, but we try to indicate where the public can get to them. And those are generally good shore fishing access spots. And then in addition, uh, you know, certainly around wherever there is a boat ramp, that all, likewise would be a good start for a shore fishing. So you don't need a boat to fish at uh, most all these lakes. Okay, and of course, uh, we have fish identification under the website as well. Yeah, there's information on fish identification. There's a lot of uh, facts, if, uh, just general questions about keeping fish, cleaning fish. Uh, I'm gonna say most any question you're gonna come up with, we try to put some information out there to try to help you answer the question yourselves. Okay, and we list fishing piers and fish cleaning stations as well? Yes, there's uh, uh, summaries and uh, both maps, interactive maps and uh, lists of uh, the fishing cleaning stations around the state. We have uh, the fishing piers, which are, of course, real uh, accommodating for folks that want to just fish off ashore. Uh, so, uh, yeah, a variety of things they can find. Jerry, over the last few years, you've spent a lot of time on lakes around the state. Explain the contour maps. And then our lake contour data, what you have there is just like you have contours of uh, going up a mountain or a hill in town, this is what's going on under the water in terms of the depths. And uh, we're definitely trying to uh, add more lakes. Uh, we've recently reprocessed most of our older map lakes to give more detail. And so we're just trying to help the angler out to find those uh, rocky points or unique structures under the water to get them uh, get them uh, to the, where the fishing might uh, improve for them. Jerry, we have a lot of lakes that we manage and the fish populations are very good. Uh, and that's the good news. Uh, to not get so hung up on all, doing lots of research, all I can say is get out there and fish because most all our lakes have some of the strongest fish populations they've had ever in some cases. And so the, the, the chances of being able to catch fish are really good no matter where you're at. 
so you don't need that expensive boat. Just a fishing rod and a hook and bait and you're ready to go. Absolutely. Take advantage of those nice uh, sunny evenings and things. The spring, the month of June is probably one of the best times to get out there for sure. Uh, but yeah, lots of opportunity. Uh, you know, do keep in mind while we have maps and we have, uh, you know, survey data, stocking data, all this, it still comes down to getting out there and going fishing. You gotta, you gotta make it happen. A lot of great information, Jerry. Thank you. You bet.